down here with a couple old farts. Young farts. <laughs> old farts. We're, we're old farts. Old farts. <laughs> we're old. At least I'm an old fart. Okay, well, introduce yourself. My name's Jack Langley. I'm an old fart. Good. I'm Dave Ellifritz from Missouri. I'm from Iowa. He doesn't declare himself an old fart yet. Yeah. He's got a tough, he's got a ways to go. It was funny. I was talking to Rod Brandt and uh, another fella in over at Lamar's, and last year and this year, and they were from. He's from New Zealand. Yeah. Well, no, they're actually from Australia, Queensland, Australia. Oh yeah. And I and I and I said, I said, ah, oh, old farts. He said, yeah, they got those there too. <laughs> yeah. So all farts are 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 the world over. Yeah. So I did, I thought that was I thought that was cool. So you can be one and know that you're universal. <laughs> we'll all get there if we live long enough. Yeah. Yep, that's true. And you were telling us about a song that you that you sang, that you that you created. What was it? Uh, the one I just talked. The about? one you just talked about. Oh, it's a song I wrote last year at Fremont for uh, Sheila Everhart. Oh, okay. It's, uh, she kind of every once in a while we'll slip out to the camper and have a little nip, and she's always giving me, well, teasing me about my candy. So I started telling her <laughs> your medicine. Well, the candy. Candy. It used to be I was going to get candy for Roger Keniston. Uh huh. And now she, I told her I started telling her I said it's not candy anymore. I got a doctor's prescription, yeah. and we was drinking some Doctor McGillicuddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I wrote a song for Sheila. Dr. McGillicuddy. Oh, oh, tell cool. me, tell me more about it, because we got well, we have, we have to go five minutes on this. So we can't just go. Well, we did, that was about a minute and a half. And where did you do it? At here? Was it here? At uh, we're at. Uh, by the way, we're at uh, Fremont, Nebraska. But uh, Sheila and them, you, you you see them two or three spots around the country. Well, they ha they have uh, a little show over in Anita, Iowa. I think that's every Friday night. I believe it. And. Uh, of course, Lamar's festival they've had for 41 years, and uh, before I mean, total that festival started at Voca and then went to Mo Valley for a while and Council Bluffs for a little while. Uh, Council Bluffs, and now it's in uh, Lamar's. But they've been doing that show for 41 years, and uh, and then Fremont they took over. I suppose maybe 10 or 12 years they've been doing this Fremont yeah. show and. And they got a nice little theater over in Anita, Iowa. I played there. I know you have too, Dave. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, but Sheila, I'd, about midday, I'd have to take her into the package store for Roger. Well, that's probably a lie because I, Roger wasn't the only one in, into that, but I'd blame <laughs> it on Roger uh, because that way I knew I could get by with it. Oh, cool. So, go get a little candy. <clears throat> and uh, it helps clear the throat. Yeah, yeah, it, it, if you don't like liver <clears throat> juice, it's probably the next best thing and for next clearing the throat. Thing, right, yes. So, but we were setting up the stage on Thursday night here last year. And hey, Dave, have you got your candy? This is Sheila talking to me. And I said, Well, not yet. I got to make a run. And so. That night, after everybody else, after the old farts went to bed, I'm sitting in my camper, not ready to sleep yet, and, and mine's drifting in and out, and so I set it, wrote a song for Sheila called Dr. McGillicuddy. Wow. Well, let's hear this awesome song. <laughs> 